Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is Night Prayer for Monday, May the 22nd. It's the sixth week of Easter and week five in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 79, a plea for mercy for Jerusalem. And the letter of James, chapter 1, verse 1 through 15. Find your joy in the facing of trials of any kind. Now please join me in singing verse 6 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. O oh, bless our God and never cease. O oh, saints, fulfill God's praise who keeps our life maintains our peace and guides our doubtful ways. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we've sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, O oh God, the heathen have come into your land, and they have defiled your holy temple. Hallelujah, Psalm 79. And please recite it with me. Hallelujah, O oh God, the heathen have come into your land. They have defiled your holy temple and laid waste to Jerusalem. The dead bodies of your servants have been given as food to the birds of the air and the flesh of your saints to the beasts of the earth. Their blood shed like water all around Jerusalem, and there was none to bury them. We have become a reproach to our neighbors, the object of scorn and derision to all around us. How long, O oh God, will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? Pour out your wrath on the heathen that have not known you, and on the nations that have not called on your name, for they have devoured your people and laid waste to their dwelling place. Do not remember our past iniquities. Let your tender mercies be swift to meet us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God, of our salvation, for the glory of your name, and deliver us and purge our sins for your name's sake. Why should the heathen say, Where is their God? Let us see you avenge the blood of your servants. Let the sighing of the prisoner come before you, and spare those that are condemned to die. And repay to our neighbors sevenfold the reproaches with which you re they reviled you, so that we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, will give you thanks forever. We will show forth your praise to all generations. <clears throat> Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, O God, the heathen have come into your land. They have defiled your holy temple. Hallelujah. A reading from the letter of James, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes in the dispersion, greetings. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of any kind, consider it nothing but joy, because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance. And let endurance have its full effect, so that you may be mature and complete, 
lacking in nothing. If any of you is lacking in wisdom, ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given you. But ask in faith, never doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For the doubter, being double-minded and unstable in every way, must not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Let the believer who is lowly boast in being raised up, and the rich in being brought low, because the rich will disappear like a flower in the field. For the sun rises with its scorching heat and withers the field. Its flower falls, and its beauty perishes. It is the same way with the rich. In the midst of a busy life, they will wither away. Blessed is anyone who endures temptation. Such a one has stood the test and will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. No one, when tempted, should say, I am, be tempted, I am being tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, and he himself tempts no one. But one is tempted by one's own desire, being lured and enticed by it. And then when that desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And that sin, when it is fully grown, gives birth to death. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wing and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Have compassion on us, O God, and do not remember our sins. Forgive us and deliver us. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.